I'm just trying to provide the internet with some options for us curly girls because every time I search curly girl hairstyles, it's these cute chicks with straight hair who are curling their hair and then showing you how to do a hairstyle. And that is just not what I want to see. I wanna see somebody rocking those natural curls trying to do some hairstyles. So stay tuned, subscribe if you wanna see more curly hairstyles from an actual curly girl. Okay, so this is my most utilized hairstyle. It lasts so well. I wore it last night to the gym and my curls were still happy and fresh as ever when I took it down. I'm gonna gather up all my hair like so, get it an elastic. The more, you know, on top of your head that you can make this, the better. And then it depends on your thickness of your hair and how large your elastic is, but I'm just gonna do one like fully through, pulled through ponytail. And then on the second one, I'm gonna kind of make my fingers into a claw, grab a good portion of my hair, but not all of it, and pull about that much through. And then at this point, you're just kind of playing with it in the mirror. I know you're probably like, that's it? This is such a simple hairstyle, but honestly, I get questions all the time as to how I do this because it's the perfect curly girl messy top knot and it looks so put together and so professional even though you put two seconds of effort into it. I'm always trying to look at the shape of my bun, making sure it's round because with curls, you can get some crazy shapes. Keep messing with it and then if you want, you can take a few bobby pins. And then I like to make sure that it's secured kind of on either side. So I'm gonna do this side, bringing that down, connecting it, and then same thing on my left side, kind of tucking that curl in. And in my expert opinion, that just helps the bun look pulled together, um, a little bit more sleek versus just sitting on top of your head. It makes it more into a hairstyle. So this is my number one, go to it all the time. Let me show you another quick one. If you guys have seen some of my other videos, you know that this curling iron right here, I guess technically it's called a curling wand, is my favorite secret weapon for styling my curly hair. So when you start to get pieces like this, you know, you've probably slept on your hair or it's tugging on your coat or you know, different life things just happen to it. You can just, wrap it around the wand and you're good to go. This actually isn't plugged in right now, so we're not gonna use it, but I'm gonna show you another of my favorite hairstyles that I would probably curl a few curls for before I jumped into it. So when you're doing a half up, half down, you have a couple different looks. You have your kind of just like barely pulled back, like just cute little mm, done. I would grab this little tiny claw clip. I don't even know if you can call it a claw clip, it's so tiny, but these are the ones you can find at Walgreens or wherever. And this is actually how I came in to the studio today with my hair done. So super simple, super easy and cute. That's the number one type of half up, half down. But when I'm transitioning this into my second type of half up, half down, you wanna be aware that you're pulling back from above the ear. Oops, pull back from above the ear. And obviously you can see all of this is happening. And that's what I wanted you to notice. So I'm gonna see all of this is puffing out to the side and I'm just gonna kind of take some of that back and keep my shape much more elegant and seamless and less kind of triangular. <laughs> you can kind of tuck some of those bad boys in and then also I'm still gathering up all of this with one hand. And then I'm gonna take a slightly larger claw clip, 
This one is awesome. You can get it from our shop. And I'm just tucking it in my hair right there. So it's still super cute and fun. You can pull out a few little pieces if you want. I love a few pieces around my ears. You can even pull out a couple pieces around your face. You can recurl those if you want. I'm gonna show you my final hairstyle. So I'm gonna take, hmm, if you have bangs or like shorter front pieces like me, you may wanna gather those up first and then take your tiny Walgreens clip and clip those into place right there. Okay, so now that those aren't going anywhere, we think, there we go. I'm gonna take the rest of my hair and gather it up in a lower ponytail. And then I'm gonna scoop it and twist it one to two times. You can twist it more depending on the length of your hair. And then I'm gonna take my claw clip again and secure that. Okay, so I can't see it from here, but you probably have a few little pieces you wanna tuck in and perfect the hairstyle just a little bit. So that is where I'm gonna take a few more of my bobby pins and just tuck these guys in. If you don't keep throwing my bobby pins. Okay. This is such a cute hairstyle if you want something a little bit more professional or sophisticated. I like to wear it out on dates. Fun stuff like that. Okay. It is as simple as that. And once again, I recommend pulling out a few pieces and recurling them right around your face. You can fluff up this guy, make sure you have nice volume. Easy as that. Thanks so much for watching three of my favorite curly girl hairstyles. Like I said before, be sure to subscribe to this channel so you can see more natural curly hairstyles from a curly girl. Thanks.